Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm just uh, getting some notifications out real quick. All right, uh, got the battle for Bikini Bottom. I haven't played this in a few weeks. Twenty one spatulas. You know, sometimes I'm just in the mood for some SpongeBob. Actually, I have like some SpongeBob VHS tapes. <laughs> All right, I gotta save Bikini Bottom. a second for a bikini bottom for a bikini bottom to like res well, I already been to Gulagoon I'm not supposed to go that way, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, I guess I uh, go to the spooky place. I need to plug my headset up. It's beeping at me. The Poseidome. Wait, is this going to be like the end of the game? I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe <laughs> whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner. Defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenger, a huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, oh, what? I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Bob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Okay, probably need to do like the. Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable. Great barrier. Do the ground pound. a beating out there oh the fish announcer <laughs> spongebob has an opening but will he get the drop on the robot i want to play i want to play epic we're not playing we're fighting for our lives 
I want to play. I want to play. Oh, all right. Spelling the old clothesline oh. move. Ah. Play is a whistle. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. This isn't that hard. I tried to jump over that. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. The robot's losing its head. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. <laughs> there we go. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, and it doesn't even like try to stop I've you. I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, ah, uh, we. <laughs> Oh, it's like seems faster. Spelling the old clothesline move. Well, how am I supposed to like avoid that? I don't know. That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match yeah, is just like about over. Breeze. Oh, okay. I was able to jump through the middle. a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not oh, nice. all. A gift certificate for five dollars and thirty. Well, then, the, yeah, this can't be like the end of the game if I'm unlocking new abilities and stuff. Oh, thank you. Seem too soon, anyway. So much. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. <laughs> hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. That's very uh, intuitive of you, SpongeBob. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says <laughs> Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> okay, we unlocked 
more area. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Bubble bowling is an important. I won't break. Bolo Rapa. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> My heroes! Hit me with the water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? It's like straight up the no, episode. it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Oh, the Are you Mermelair? sure you're up to this task? We're gonna go to the Mermelair. Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Barnacle Man. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? <laughs> Is a bikini bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular <laughs> programming, retirement home girls gone wild. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I love opening presents. Is it the TV? Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Okay, that couch. <laughs> Mermaid Man has like no idea what's going on. Oh, nice. Some underwear, though. Evil. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, 
Nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... <laughs> All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. Well, I thought he had a mission. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch oh, yeah. of doctor's appointments. Don't want to miss. Don't want to miss the doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. Oh. I forgot. I'm gonna fix my blanket real quick. There we go. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not <laughs> disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! It's not just any sponge, it's super sponge. So be fine. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, what? Wait, is the bubble bowl? I wasn't sure if I could, like, just run up and hit him. Thank you. 
Can I make that? Oh, the invisible boatmobile. Golden spatula. Ah. All right, we're going into the Mermelair. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? Well, and not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. I have no idea what he was just talking about. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. Why? But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Why would they get Squidward? Oh, look at <laughs> this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! This is for, I guess, Patrick. There's a bus stop right there, okay. I need Patrick for that. Oh, 
I've got a job for somebody who can throw things. It's definitely not like the OG Mermaid us. Man. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw <laughs> the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean... Ow. Shit. It's like all guys. Be nervous. That's much better. I don't think I need Patrick for some of this stuff. All you can do is, uh... <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. This is for Sandy. Let's oh, Patrick. Can Patrick even get up this? No. Alright, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way just yet. Wow.
We're good. There we go. Okay, that second part is open now. I feel like a new sponge. Golden spatula. security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. <coughs> Lovely. The first one is here. Press the button! Got it! Nice. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here. Got it. Are you listening to me? Listening. Got it. I gotta hit the buttons. over here. Oh, okay. The village, the, the village, the villain containment system. Spatula over here. Oh, wait, I didn't do this thing as Patrick. Let me do that real quick. He's not even facing it. The hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here, and he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait! Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was Just start turning <laughs> those cylinders. Okay. Oh, 
I'm not sure what I was supposed to be doing. You need to turn all eight cylinders around to the power side. Throw something at a cylinder. They all need to be to the power side. Does that mean facing inwards? So now there's just one. Carry a lot of stuff around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to do this. Re alt tab real quick. Okay, throw a fruit onto any button, then count three buttons to the right or left, and then hit that button. 
keep on doing that. Okay. I feel like that's kind of like what I was doing. I lost track of where I was. There we go. I wouldn't have been able to figure that out on my own, I don't think. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. <laughs> Here, have a golden spatula. So glad I don't have to work tomorrow. Okay, I just have to hit two more of those supercomputer buttons. Okay, that's what they look like too. Good. Oh, damn, I'm really hitting all those. Oh, I must have already pressed it. Yeah. Fresh like a spring breeze. I haven't really seen
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where. the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this Okay, room? they're in here. Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. That still hurt me. Fresh like a spring breeze. At least they warned you the ones that are about to hurt. That was lucky. I just like kind of jumped in between them real quick. Damn. I feel like a new sponge. Trying to like dodge the blocks and I just get missiled. You've just met the sponginator. Feel like a new sponge. enough uh, shines. That was like harder than it needed to be.
under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? It's like a giant mouse trap thing. Like the board game, I mean. You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. It shines. Okay. I see. Everything's resetting, but that's fine. in the morning. Smells like victory. They're like falling off somewhere.
So my scoops haven't been successful. Okay, so it takes like a long time. I'm just like trying to go through it too quick is what it is and the stuff's like resetting before the ball even gets to it. Kind of a pain. I'm getting it. This requires patience and just trying to <laughs> trying really hard to avoid the robots. I wasn't even paying attention there. It's not moving. <clears throat> Why? That's kind of bullshit. I don't understand why it stopped moving. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? Ah, this is like kind of bullshit. I can do it though. I didn't realize that was like even a part where I had to like balance. Until it was too late. It sucks you have to sit here for so long, though. If it was a lot quicker, it wouldn't be that big a deal. What the? How am I supposed to like make it go over here? Or maybe I can like block it myself. I didn't even think of like going down there. Okay, this time we will directly intervene with the ball. Too late. I guess not. I didn't realize it like disappears like immediately. Uh, this is getting annoying. <laughs>
mean, I probably don't have to, like, do this. Oh, a sponge booty. It didn't make it? How? It was right there. Some parts of this game are just kind of bullshit. They expect kids to beat this? I don't want to do it prematurely. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... Shit, 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 shit. If you just like tap it, it like goes flying. Look, I think I might try it one more time. Like, I'm, I'm all I'm getting from this is a uh, golden spatula. Yeah, and that goes like back up quick. You don't have much time to line that up. Sock here. I'll get the sock. Wait, what I do wrong? I 
I thought that was it. I thought that was it. What else was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to hit that? Was that supposed to like... Okay. I mean... I guess I get it now. I mean, I should be able to do it, I think. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... Victory. Oh my god. The bubble bowl is like very, like not accurate sometimes. I don't know. I'm, I think I might just be done with this uh, part. But, well, I think I could go back and there's something I can do in the other part of the mermaid layer. I hit all the computer things. I thought I could... Go do something else. Let's put me all the way down here. real quick.
<laughs> oh. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight, I think. I'm pretty tired. Well, I don't really have the attention span to try to do like that. Rube Goldberg uh, contraption anymore tonight. Anyway, if you're watching this on Twitch, please hit the follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a stellar night.